we're going to be doing a pattern tutorial for my pixie hat pattern. So on your pattern you'll see that there's a front and there's a fold that goes across the top. Now there's two markings for the front. One is a little wider which is this one because this does not have a finished edge along this edge right here and then there's a smaller one so if you have a finished edge you don't have to put any kind of finish on the edge and we'll talk about that in a minute so anyway I've cut it out so we're going to sew from this point here in the back all the way to the top we're going to use a serger if you have one if you don't have a serger you're going to use a stretch stitch on your sewing machine and if you don't know what your stretch stitch is or if you don't have one you can use a medium length zigzag because that'll give it a little bit of of give it won't break your seams when you're putting it on um, and you might want to just do two rows of that so let's do that stitching so you can see that we did our two rows of zigzag and on fleece type fabric um, that is a fine finish it's not going to ravel or or do anything so now we're going to add okay so this is the inside so we're going to turn the front marking the hem um, that's on your pattern it's about a half an inch we're going to pin it into place and then we're just going to zigzag that hem and i'll show you what that looks like so here I have my hem, hem all pinned up. Now if you have a fancy stitch, a fancy zigzag stitch or something that you would like to use right here, go ahead. I'm just going to use a regular uh, zigzag stitch. So you can see the hem is turned in and the back is done. So now um, we can turn it right side out. Poke out that little pixie top. All right. Turning it. And here is our pixie hat and we're actually almost done this is a super quick pattern so now all I'm going to do here at the bottom I'm going to turn this up and pin it and then zigzag that hem so that it's zigzagged up also the little pixie hat is basically done um, some people like to put a tie on other people are concerned about choking so you decide on that you could also use velcro or other things so this is what it looks like if you've done it out of fleece i also am doing a tutorial on how to do it out of a sweater um, or some other um, knit fabric we all love the look of these um, really beautifully knitted hats but I don't have the time to sit down and do all that knitting. So this is the bottom rib, rib knit of a sweater. So here's the bottom. Put it on the fold at the top and then um, the rest of the tutorial tells you how to do this so that the seams look good and don't ravel. So if you'd like to continue on and watch and learn how to do this portion and then I also did a tutorial on this flower, um, continue on. Okay, now we're going to make our um, pixie hat using a sweater um, that we're going to recycle or upcycle into this little pixie hat. So what I've done is I've cut off a piece of an adult size sweater um, so that the ribbing, which is this bottom part here, is going to be around the face, so the front of the hat. I folded it so that the top of the hat will be here at the fold. So we're going to take our pattern piece, we're going to place it on. Okay, we're going to put the top on the fold and the front along the side of the ribbing and we're going to pin it in place. So here it is with our pattern attached. Now, um, the front, like I said, is on the ribbing edge. The top is on the fold. Um, we're going to take a marker. You can use one that can wash out or one that um, has disappearing ink or whatever you would like. But we're just going to mark the edge of our pattern like this all the way around our pattern. Now, some sweaters will fray or unravel, I guess would be the better word, worse than other um, sweaters. Some of the smaller, um, softer knits don't ravel as easily. Some of the larger, this is what I would consider a mid-weight, and it would ravel fairly easy. Some of the more open knit sweaters will just practically disintegrate before you even get started. So the reason I'm going to do this is um, I'm going to sew this before I cut it so that there's less chance of it coming undone. So we are going to sew from 
this point here to the top and we're going to do that right now. I wanted to point out a couple things before I sewed. If you have a serger, um, you can do these without um, any problem at all. You could just cut, you know, serge that and it would be a perfect finish. Um, I did pin it together so that it doesn't shift on me because I want to keep my um, front nice and straight. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my sewing machine because not everybody has a serger and I wanted to show how you can do this. So I'm going to sew coming down a quarter inch seam on the inside of that line with a stretch stitch. If your machine has a stretch stitch, if it doesn't have a stretch stitch, use a zigzag. Okay, you can see that I've done a zigzag stitch, kind of a medium small on the inside of the line. So now I'm going to cut that out um, just on the outside of my line. So here's what it looks like now. Now, um, that's really not enough to keep it from fraying or unraveling that zigzag like that. If you surged it, it would be fine. But what I want to do is have a really nice finished seam on the inside of my hat. So what I'm going to do, um, you could use bias tape if you want, or just cut a one inch um, strip of fabric. This isn't on the bias. Um, fold the end of it down here at the top. And then I'm just going to sew that along this back seam. And I'll show you what that looks like. So here's what it looks like um, with my folded end up here at the top and I just did another quarter inch seam all the way down following the curve of the hat all the way to the end. Now I wanted to point out that for right now I still have not cut um, where the bottom of the hat is here yet so I just sewed right past it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to turn this under and I'm going to sew that in place one more time all the way down like you would um, a bias tape. And let me show you. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold my, my strip of fabric up. Okay, should be close to a quarter inch that you're folding up. It'll be close to where the raw edge, edge is there. And then I'm going to fold it up one more time going up and over that. So I'm encasing all those raw edges. And then I'm just going to do my zigzag one last time as we go up this hat all the way to the top. Oop, I, you might not have been able to see that. Just a second. Let me do it again. Let me pull my hands back. See, so I'm just attaching that over those raw edges. So I'm back up to the top um, where that folded edge was. So here's my folded edge and I finished it off just the same as we did all the way up folding it over and zigzagging off the edge. Okay now this is where the bottom of my hat was marked when we first marked our pattern. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to cut this hat just right below that mark but very close to it like so okay take my one inch piece of fabric fold it back and I'm going to work on the right side of the hat and place it right at the center front so that that fold matches with the center front of the hat and working on the right side I'm going to sew this across so here I am just about finishing that first pass of attaching this piece of fabric to the hat. Okay, and I'm almost to the other side of the front. So when I get there, I'm going to leave enough fabric here that I can fold it back and turn it up so that it's about a half an inch turn up right there at the end and then finish sewing across. And go ahead and back stitch. Okay, before I finish this off, I did a second row of zigzagging along there to be sure that I'm catching all of the yarn. So now I'm ready to sew um, the facing here to the inside of the hat. So I'm going to fold it up like this, like we did before, and I'm going to flip the entire thing to the inside of the hat. Okay, so I'm on the inside here. So here's my back seam here. And I'm going to fold that up and zigzag this down. 
Okay, as I got close to the, um, the center back here, so here's my seam. I just cut off a little bit of the bulk of that um, back seam right here so that when I take this and turn it up, it's not quite such a big bump right there. You're going to still have a bump, but cut out as much of that as you can without cutting into your stitching. And then just continue zigzagging along all the way to the other end. Okay, so here's what my little pixie hat looks like right now. So we have um, a lot of stretch that's going to go this way. Um, because when their head goes in, their head is going to fill out this little portion here, and this makes that little pixie top up there. We have a nice finished bottom, a wonderfully finished back. All right, and then um, what I plan on doing with this hat is um, making a little flower using this coordinating fabric that I'm going to put right here. But this hat could be completely done right now. Okay, I'm going to attach the flower um, to the little hat right now. i show you how to make this flower in another video tutorial. And I'm just going to tack this flower through all of the layers in just two or three places. Um, I want the hat to be able to stretch. So I don't want to sew it down solid. I hope that makes sense. Okay. So I've tacked it a couple times, go around to the back, finish it off here, clip my thread. So I'll tack it in three or four places until I have it so that it's not going to flop around. Okay, so I want to get it so it doesn't flop and that it's nice and secure and then your hat will be finished. So anyway, um, use your imagination and have fun with this pattern. So thank you for stopping by Vintage to New and until next time, thanks for stopping by.